<laughs> Along those lines, you did, you told me that you wrote 11 specs when you were starting out. Yes. And that's, that's a lot of specs. That's incredible. You Three. just kept doing one after another and until, until something hit or until you really felt you had learned more about the craft. No, I stopped or... writing specs when I sold something. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, uh, no, I, I had a great piece of advice. My acting teacher when I first came to LA was Gordon Hunt, who mm. is, I think still may be an acting teacher and is a director. Wonderful and, director, uh, yes. And father of Helen Hunt, mm -hmm. uh, who was actually, as a 13-year-old, was in class with me for a while. That was pretty interesting. Um, but he, he said, treat your, your search for a career as if it were your career. And by that, he meant get up advice. five days a week, mm -hmm. eight hours a day if you can do it, and do something towards getting your career going. Mm -hmm. And because I got to tell you, I have had and still have a lot of actor acquaintances who if I went on a Wednesday, what did you do today towards getting that job? Mm -hmm. Did you go to the gym at the minimum? Did you go visit an agent? Did you make some calls? Did you go to an acting class? Mm -hmm. Did you do some scene study? Did you get to, you know, oftentimes yeah. the answer is no. No, they're just waiting for the phone to ring. And, and that, I really took that piece of advice to heart when I tried to be a writer. And, and so Peter and I would, five days a week, get together and we had office hours even though we didn't have a job and we would write these spec scripts. And the other thing that helped That's was fabulous. as soon as we turned one in, we didn't wait for the response until we started on the next one. Mm -hmm. And that way, every time we got the rejection, we were going, oh, well, it's not so bad because we're almost done with, with the next one. Had we waited and gotten a rejection mm -hmm. and then tried to summon up yeah. the energy to do it all over again, of course. I don't think we would have lasted the three and a half years.